Welcome to Phoenix Analysis and Design Technologies, where we make innovation work through simulation, product development, and rapid prototyping. As an ANSYS channel partner, we sell and support products from ANSYS Inc. in the Four Corner States and Nevada. In addition, we provide consulting and training in ANSYS tools worldwide. These tools provide simulation capabilities in fluid dynamics, structural mechanics, electromagnetics, as well as systems and multiphysics applications. Hey guys, this is Manoj with PADT. Happy New Year to everyone and hopefully everyone has a great 2014. In our first video of the year for our Focus video blogs, I'm going to show you a new capability in ANSYS version 15 called Parallel Part by Part Meshing. Parallel Part by Part Meshing is a new feature in ANSYS version 15. ANSYS has enabled us the ability to mesh multiple parts on multiple CPU cores. The idea being, if you have eight cores, you can submit different parts to those eight cores and they can be meshed simultaneously. The option is under Mesh Details, so click on Mesh in the Mesh tree, and under Advanced, there's an option for Number of CPUs for Parallel Part by Part Meshing. You can change that from Program Default and put however many cores you'd like. A huge plus is that currently it does not require any HPC licenses. For those of you who don't know, HP licenses enable users to unlock multiple core usage during solution times, whether that be a CFD solution or a mechanical solution. I did two benchmarks to just kind of take advantage of the new capability and see what it had to offer in terms of speed up. The first model was a rotor hub with 502 bodies. I used some body sizing and some multi-zone method controls to control the mesh and I ended up with a mesh of about 560,000 elements and about 1.3 million nodes. The second mesh was for a turbine fan and I decided to go a little bit extreme on this one just to test it out. I refined the blades pretty significantly as you can see on the pictures to the right. By using some face sizing controls, I was able to get the mesh up of up to 175 million elements and about 279 million nodes, so pretty significant mesh. When we look at the results, you can see that with the rotor hub model of 560,000 elements, uh, with one core it took about 172 seconds, and up to an eight cores which took about 33 seconds to s mesh. For the turbine fan, the benefit is really more apparent. With one core, the turbine fan took 6.2 hours to mesh, whereas with eight cores, that dropped it down to 1.1 hours. So pretty significant drop for both, whereas the turbine fan is more apparent in terms of the added benefit of this new capability. If you look at the chart of the speed up, you can see that the black line is the linear idealized speed up whereas the red and blue lines represent the two benchmarks that I was able to complete. As you can see, with eight cores, you get roughly between five and five and a half times speed up in the mesh time, which can be pretty significant and really useful in terms of time savings. Now, I'm just gonna do a quick demo in ANSYS Workbench. So, here's my rotor hub model. These are the methods that I've used to get that 560,000 element count. If I go to Mesh under the Mesh tree and go to Advanced, currently the number of CPUs for part-by-part -part meshing is set to Program Controlled. I can simply change that and change that to 8. Now if I go right-click and generate the mesh, you'll see that it says parallel meshing completed on certain number of certain number of parts. And you can see it's going pretty rapidly. So we'll just wait for this to get finished. And there you have it. And if you look here, you can see the elapsed time for last mesh generation was 35 seconds. 
So this new capability is pretty significant and can be really useful for everyone. If you haven't downloaded it yet, go ahead onto the ANSYS customer portal and download version 15. If you have any issues during download or install, feel free to call PADT. We hope this video was useful and please subscribe to PADT as we will be doing more videos on tips and examples in ANSYS. If you have any questions, feel free to call PADT Inc. Otherwise, see you next time.